Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm here with my finale of my uh, Red Pan collab version number three. So as you may have noticed, I did not upload my latest updates and that is because I was swamped. I, first of all, was so busy with work and I had barely any time to film. I was traveling quite a lot and I also got really sick for a while as well. And I just didn't have any time to film, which I actually, on, the first time I got time to film was about 10 days after the update. And I knew that almost half the time I had gone, so I just decided not to upload that. So instead, I'm going to post my finale and you show you my progress since my second update. So let's just go in order from the list and the first product I have is number one which is a product with cute packaging and for that I have my NARS Coconut Grove eyeshadow. The packaging now is very very grubby because I have it have had it this in my makeup bag for the longest time and it has kind of messed up the packaging but I still think it's very cute because it's very very tiny and I just love these NARS, NARS packaging and I'm gonna show you it comparing to a blush which is this right here so you can see comparing it it's just really small and tiny and I just think that's very cute. So my goal for this which it is for most eyeshadows is to hit pan and I'm gonna insert the picture where I was last time and this is where I am today. So as you can see right there I did manage to hit my goal which was to hit pan. I actually did hit pan on this before what would have been my third update but I just like I said didn't upload that video so I've had pan on this for quite a long time and honestly since hitting pan I haven't really used this much at all and I don't use shades like this very often like this really really dark shades as you can probably see from the dip on this eyeshadow I mainly use this as an eyeliner um, it is a beautiful shade it's good as an eyeliner it's really really dark and pigmented and it actually looks quite nice this is one of the best kind of dark browns that I have because if you don't want to use a black you still want a really intense kind of yeah shadow to use this liner this one is a really really good choice because I yeah, it just shows up really well and it's a very good pigmented brown. I am glad that I hit pan on this because I've had this in my collection for quite a while. I will still keep it, although I haven't reached for this since I put it away because I do have a use for it in my collection. It's just that I haven't really been feeling like dark eyeliner, kind of shadow liner recently. Um, I've been feeling these more kind of light um, eyeshadow looks, which I'm wearing today. Um, so yeah, that's why I haven't used as much, but it is a beautiful shade, I'm going to keep it, and I'm just happy that I managed to hit pattern it. Next up, we have the category as drugstore product, and for this I added in a lip gloss last time. Um, and this one is the Maybelline lip gloss in the shade uh, Rose Diamonds. Uh, this one's one of their water shine glosses, I'm not even sure if they make these anymore, but yeah. I had this for a really really long time but I'm going to show you where I started and where I am today. So as you can see right there that is where I was when I started and this is where I am today. So I don't have much progress for about two months of use and that is an explanation for that and that is that I don't like this. I wore it a few times but it's just really really gritty and I don't like the color on me and also it is really really old so I don't really feel comfortable putting this on my lips anymore. Um, so I just decided to stop using it. I just decided to not force myself to use this in order to finish it up because I knew that if I didn't have this in this project I would definitely declutter this from my collection straight away after wearing it the first time. So that's what I'm going to decide to do. I decided to stop using it and I'm going to declutter this after this video. Um, so yeah, that is this product and I'm quite happy with it. I know that I didn't use this very much and I could probably could have used it more but but I'm very pleased with my choice to declutter this instead, uh, so this will be leaving my collection. Then moving on to the third category, we have a product of your choice. And for this I chose one of my Colourpop Super Shock Shadows, and this is in the shade Lightning Bug. So I'm going to insert the picture where I was last time with this product, and this is where I am today. So as you can see, I did manage to hit pan, and as you may know, for these shades, uh, or these Super Shock shadows, my goal is always to wear down the pan evenly and hit pan, and I feel like I did that. So because these are quite easy to kind of move around and um, dig a hole in, I always try to make it more even before I hit pan, which like I said, I did. Um, I'm really, really happy to hit pan on this. I love this shade. I put this in here because I thought it was really, really nice summery shade, and it, it is. However, it's also quite a specific shade and I got really tired of wearing this all the time. So I'm really happy to still have it in my collection. I'm just happy that I don't have to wear it every single day now. Um, but this went really, really well with my eyeshadows in my Pandas eyeshadows project. Um, at the time when I rolled this in and for like the next couple of months. So I'm really, really happy to have had this in the project. 
but like I said, I'm just kind of over this shade for this moment, but I'm sure that I will reach with this tons because I love this shade and it's really, really sparkly and special. Um, so yeah, I do recommend this if you're into these kind of warmer, bronzy golds. Um, because I love having this in my collection. So yeah, that is another goal hit for this project. Um, and let's move on to the next product. So for the next category, we have a product you regret buying. And for that, I chose to put in my NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in the shade Honey. The reason why I put this in is not because of the product itself, it's because of the shade. This shade is very, very peachy and yeah, it just doesn't really go with my skin tone. Even when I had a tan, it's still just off in the kind of shade. So that's why I put it in. But the way I've been using this is basically as a color corrector. So I've been using this underneath my eyes and also to kind of prime my eyelids. Um, and I've been working really, really well. So I'm going to show you where I am at the moment. So as you can see, this is where I am right now. Um, it may look like I have some product left and maybe I do, but I did take out the stopper. And hopefully you can see in there, my camera will focus on it. Not sure my camera wants to focus on that, but in there you can probably see that I don't have much product left. And you can probably see that in the cheap as well. So I am considering this done. There is a little bit left on the bottom where the one can reach. So I may kind of use a different brush to use it up. But like I said, since I don't really like the shade, I may not do that. I haven't decided yet, but... Either way, I can't get any more product out with the wand, so I do kind of consider this done. Um, so I have, I'm really happy to have another goal hit. And this I did hit my goal on about a week ago, I think. So it did take quite a while, like a month and a half, to hit my goal. Um, but yeah, I'm really happy to have this out of my collection. And I didn't use this for ages. Like, probably had this in my collection for like two years, which is probably longer than you should have a concealer in collection. But... I just didn't use it because of the shade, but I'm happy to have put this into this project because I actually forced myself to find a way to use it. And I actually really like using this as a color corrector. I definitely won't buy it again in the same shade, but yeah, I'm happy to have found a way to make this work for me. And I'm also happy to have finished this up. So we have two more products in this project left, and they are both eyeliners. I've had this in since the beginning of this round, and this one is the Colourpop uh, Cream Gel Liner in the shade Punch. So like I said, I've had this in the project since the start, um, and it's beautiful eyeliner, I really like it. Um, I actually kind of wear, I'm wearing this today, it's kind of worn off because I've been wearing this makeup all day, but I'm wearing this on my waterline today, and it's beautiful. Again, kind of similar to the Superstore Shadow, I got a little bit tired of wearing yellow on my waterline, but yeah, I'm still really happy to have this in my collection, and um, I'm going to show you where my progress is. So as you may know with Colourpop's eyeliners, they easily kind of break at the, the base of the eyeliner, which this one has done. So unfortunately I won't roll it up because it, it falls out really, really easily. But I'm going to show you where I am on the paper. So you can see right there, that is where I was last time. That was my goal line. And I'm now there. So I did manage to hit my goal and a little bit more, which I'm really, really excited about. So overall, I kind of used up... A bit more than a third of this product. I'm just happy to have gotten some more color into my routine. I do have quite a few of these. I bought almost every color um, or like colorful eyeliner from them um, and I'm happy to have them. I've mainly been focusing on this one but I may kind of try to focus on the rest as well just to get some uh, use out of them before they dry out but I'm really happy to have this. I think this is a quite a wearable color to wearing a waterline but yeah I'm glad I managed to make so much progress on this uh, during the last month because if I didn't have this in the project I probably would have reached for this maybe once or twice. Um, so I'm glad that I kind of made myself use this more and kind of be more creative with my makeup. And then for the last product that I have in this project we have a sample deluxe size item and for that I chose my Marc Jacobs highlighter in the shade Black Whore. So this is kind of like a mini eyeliner uh, pencil and it's just one of those roll up kind of things. So this is where it looks like. It's just a black eyeliner. And um, again, I'm gonna show you on my paper where I am at the moment. So you can see right there, there is my progress lines. And this has also been in the project since the start, but you may also see that there's only three lines. That is because I do not have any progress lines for this month. I know. Um, it's been two months since my last update and I do not have any progress. I have a reason for that though, um, I kind of misplaced this eyeliner, I um, accidentally put it out on my makeup bag at my boyfriend's house and 
I completely forgot that it was in this project. And then when I the other day um, went through my products just to kind of collect them for this update, I saw it on the list and I realized that I forgot about it and I found it at my boyfriend's house again and brought it back. But that is why I don't have any progress. I think I may have used it a few times since last update but not enough to make progress. The main way I use this is kind of as a, a tight line. I use this to kind of tight line my upper waterline but it doesn't really give much progress um, however I'm still happy to have this in my collection it's still creamy it's still usable so I'm still gonna keep it I rarely rarely use an black eyeliner but this is the only black eyeliner that I have so I definitely want to keep it still but kind of doing these projects and uh, make me realize what kind of products I barely reach for and that kind of shows me that for example with a dark brown eyeshadow I don't need a lot of those because you can see how long it took me to hit pan and I mean, that's a big eyeshadow, especially since I only use it most often as a, a eyeliner. So it kind of makes me get a perspective on different products. So that's kind of one of the reasons why I love doing these projects. But that you guys was all for this finale. I know that I have been quite terrible with uploading videos recently, but I've just been so swamped. I had a lot of things going on and I think I mentioned this in a video before, but I basically had something planned every single weekend since first weekend of June. So I barely have found time to film. I'm most often at my boyfriend's house during the week because he lives close to work. Um, so it's really hard for me to find time to film. But I'm gonna try to continue doing it because I love posting videos and I just, yeah, I just need to kind of be better at time management. But that is all for today. I really hope you enjoyed it, like I said, and um, I will talk to you in my next video. Bye, guys.